What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the most used team in FIFA. We are going to be bringing back some squad builders here on the channel if this is received well. So if you enjoy squad builders and if you enjoy the best team in FIFA and if you enjoy, <coughs> excuse me, the most used team in FIFA, then drop a thumbs up. Let's try and smash 10,000 likes for today's video on the most used team in FIFA. I did an episode of the most used team in FIFA a few months back. And um, I'll leave the link to that in the description below. But before I go further with this video, let's just talk about who was in that specific team. So the most used team in FIFA back on November 6th, 2017 was Edison Aurier, Bai Smalling, Danny Rose, Herrera Bakayoko, Deli Ali, Sterling, the downgraded version or the non-upgraded version, Gabriel Jesus, also the non-upgraded version, and Anthony Martial, also the non-upgraded version. Uh, the way we get the most used um, team in FIFA is by Futbin. Futbin have like an import section, so it counts stats from clubs, but they also track stats from the trade, like the transfer market, and it gives you a breakdown of how many games in total a card has. And so we go to each position. For example, we go to goalkeeper, we sort by games played, and we take a look at the most used goalkeeper, and that will be our goalkeeper for today's episode. And our goalkeeper for today's episode is going to be, to my surprise, Courtois. I thought this was going to be David De Gea a million percent. Or I thought Ralph Farman was going to be there. What's really surprising is Courtois comes in at number one, just under 20 million games. David De Gea is 17 and a half million games. And then the guy that I thought would be uh, like up there, Ralph Farman, is actually in like eighth spot, 8.3 million games. He is way under the radar. And the one surprise for me that's up there is Petr Cech at 11 million games. Now, I know this also includes people playing squad battles, people that don't qualify for foot champs. It, you know, it's the whole of FIFA Ultimate Team. But I have very, very, very rarely seen Petr Cech. So I'm quite surprised to see him up there. In at the right back spot. So we we was Aurier last time around. And this time around, I don't think it's... Uh, any big surprise as to who the player is. It's Antonio Valencia. Um, he's the most used right back in FIFA by some margin. Valencia at 27 million games. Kyle Walker at 21 million games. And then Serge Aurier at 13 and a half million games. So he's been absolutely blown out of the water. And right behind him is Hector Bellerin also at 13 and a half million games. Then you've got Florenzi at 13 million games and then it just descends into nothing from no one, like less than 10 million for each of the rest of them. So we're going into the Premier League to start with, into those centre-back spots, guys. And the first centre-back is the same, you know, the first same player from last time. And that is Eric Bai being our first centre-back. Of course, he is the most used centre-back by way of, he's got 43 million games, and the second centre-back only has 22 million games. That's how good Eric Bailly is. And the second most used centre-back is Jerome Boateng. So Jerome Boateng up at 22 million games. And then once again, there's a few surprises there for me. Lauren Koscielny is the third most used centre-back. I thought it might have been something like Sergio Ramos, I did think we'd see potentially David Luiz up there, although he is up there at 15 million games. But yeah, Lauren Koscielny at 20 and a half million games, as Piliqueta at 15 and a half million games, Varane at 15 million games. Uh, just surprising to me personally. So that is that. And then in at left back, we go back to another old faithful. So only the second player that has remained in the team from the first time around, and that is Danny Rose. Danny Rose is still the most used left back in this game coming in at 25 and a half million games compared to the 22 million games of the person that I thought would be number one and that's Alexandro in at number two and then in at number three is David Alaba at 20 million games and then Jordi Alba all the way down at 13 million, Marcelo down at 7 million so Danny Rose is by far and away the most used center, uh, left back sorry, in the game. So heavily Premier League burdened so far, guys. Heavily Premier League squad here uh, by Boateng, Valencia, Danny Rose. And then we move into the midfield. Now the CM, CM, CM spots obviously also include CDM, CMs and CAMs. So all of that position base is there. Last time around, as I say, we had uh, Deli Ali, Bakayoko and Ander Herrera. Well, probably to no one's surprise, Bakayoko also remains in this team. He comes in as number one, 
at 39.2 million games with this card. And it's because he just works, right? Good height, good work rates, okay weak foot, great defense, great physical, very strong pace once you apply that Shadow Chem card to him as well. It's just a good all-round card, isn't it, this Bakayoko card? In at second spot is his compadre from Chelsea, and that is N'Golo Kante coming in at that second spot with 31.5 million games. And then in at number three, which is actually, again, a surprise to me, and that's Rajan Angolan. I thought number three was going to be um, Vidal. Now, Vidal is right uh, right behind uh, Nengelen by a million games. Nengelen coming in at 19.2, Vidal at 18.2. Uh, but then we've got Christian Eriksen up there at 18.1, Matuidi at 17.7, and then Ander Herrera down at 17.3, no longer in the team. So Bai, Rose, and Bakayoko remain from the initial team. And then the attack of the initial team was Anthony Martial, Gabriel Jesus, and Raheem Sterling. And I've got to tell you, it's pretty similar. <laughs> um, the right wing that we've got, guys, coming in now is no longer Raheem Sterling. No, instead, it is Willian in at right wing. Willian coming in at 19.9 million games. And then second place is Dembele at 19.5 million games. And then third place, who is, funnily enough, the guy that I thought would be first place, and that is Alessandrini in form, of course, at 17 million games. So he's quite close there. He's, he's the closest in form to any position in any of these because he's been out for so long. And of course, uh, he's such a good card. So yeah, Alessandrini, 17 million. And then Gareth Bale, 13 million. Raheem Sterling, 13 million. Salah, 10 million. And then the last two picks, if you can't guess who these are, there's probably a little something wrong with you at this point in FIFA. These are the most two obvious picks in the whole game. Number one is Anthony Martial. Uh, coming in with a whopping 35 million games. Now, I already have the 83, so I'm just going to use him instead of the 82, just because there's pointless me buying a card when I've got the 83 that's basically the same card anyway right here. Uh, second place is Sané at 15.8 million, then Hyung Min Son at 15.6 million. Then, surprisingly, Coutinho and Royce are next up, 9.6 and 9.1 respectively, and I never see either of those... Alexis Sanchez, 8.5. And then somebody that I thought we would see a lot more, which is Neymar, coming in at 8.4. And then the last pick, who is indeed uh, the player with the most... Uh, sorry, the third most games of all. And that is, of course, Gabriel Jesus being the number one striker in the game. The 81 version, of course. Gabriel Jesus coming in at 38.5 million games. Number two is Mbappe at 20 million games. Mertens at 17. Griezmann at 15. Alexandra Lacazette at 13. And Lukaku at 10 million games. So this right here, what you see on your screen right now, guys, is the most used per position. There are some exceptions. If we actually go on a per game basis, it's Eric Bai at number one with 43 million Bakayoko at 39, Gabriel Jesus 38 and a half, Martial at 35, Kante at 31, Valencia at 27, Rose at 25 and a half, and then the next player would actually be Alexandro and um, Carl Walker would be in there as well. So if we if we took like the most used 11 rather than in position, we wouldn't have a goalkeeper uh, and we'd have six defenders. Um, so I went for obviously the position base. But yeah, this guy is, is the most used team in FIFA. I get 87 chemistry on it, which is okay. Uh, I think, didn't I, have, I swear I had 89 chemistry on it. There's 88. Yeah, 88 chemistry is the chemistry that I can get on it. So 88 chemistry for this team here, guys. Um, we're going to go into a daily knockout tournament game with this team. I don't expect to win, although this is a, obviously a good team. I haven't put chem styles on. We don't have the right chemistry. Um, obviously, there's some some players with some uh, hard, hard luck, weak links. So uh, Boateng on three chem, Nengolan on four chem. And then a few sevens in defence too. But we're going to see if we can do our best, guys. That is the squad. Let's get in to the action. Okay, guys. Into the game we go. And we are up against a 4-3-3-1-8-4 team. Some very good players in there as well. Some other big names that we saw a lot on that list. Griezmann, Lukaku, Dembele. Um, Titi was one of the top centre-backs. Varane was one of the top centre-backs. Ter Stegen was one of the top goalkeepers. So we're going to give it our best shot here, guys. As I say, I don't expect miracles. This is more about just showcasing uh, the most used team in FIFA. It's not about winning the game or destroying our opponent. It's literally just about trying to have a bit of fun with a, a squad that, although this is the most used team in FIFA, it's not a team that we personally use 
ourselves. Some of these players have been in my teams throughout the year, here and there a little bit. He's actually got a good through ball on there, but most of these, uh, most of these players, that's a banging finish. I should have got the ball off him when he was shielding. When he was shielding there, I should have just walked around him. I don't know why I tried to fight through him. But yeah, this is more about just using the most used players in FIFA. And uh, we haven't touched the ball yet. All we've seen is the ball go past our goalkeeper. Uh, Courtois only, of course, on seven chemistry. This guy probably looks at my team and thinks, oh, God, as if I haven't seen these players before. Um, obviously, that's the uh, the whole point of it to a degree. Let's hope that his uh, defending isn't quite as good as his attacking. I'm going to go uh, attacking myself, speaking of attacking. I want to put a bit of pressure on this guy because he's, he's, he seems more than content to just sit nice and deep. Um with his team that's an interesting ball there he's actually going to get that as well wow that is out i mean that's a good finish from lukaku on that right foot and like a kind of like a scissor kick volley but how he won that header over my left back i don't know i shouldn't be conceding a goal like that so we find ourselves two nil down very early on look at that ball that why would you even play that ball and then how does he win that header and then I understand why Boateng's nowhere to be seen. He's on four chemistry, he doesn't have a chem style. Like his, his marking stat and uh, his reflexes and so on and so forth would probably be uh, quite low there. So I don't really uh, blame Boateng to a degree for being in the wrong space at the wrong time. Let's see if we can get Raja in behind here though. No, we can't. Is this guy going to end up rushing? I, I'm going to need to make sure I get not even the next goal quickly. I just want to make sure I don't concede another off the next attack. If this guy does score three goals off of three attacks, I might be in some trouble. You know, uh, it doesn't matter how good you are or how bad your opponent is. With a 3-0 lead early on, it, he, he has all the time and all the power in the world to just sit there and, uh, you know, like let the... Uh, go on, Gabriel Jesus. Let the, let the play run, really. Let's see if we can get in behind here with Gabriel Jesus. That far post cross there. Is that a pen ref? Let's go. I don't even know if I would have won the header either. If that's a pen, that's got to be a red card ref. Not even given a booking for it. So, we can get ourselves straight back into this game. 13 minutes on the clock. Hopefully, we can pop this one in the back of the net. Antonio Valencia steps up. Bottom left corner. He saved it. Of all the things, he saved it. You can't make it up, guys. I always go uh, to one of the bottom corners, not always to the left. He ended up guessing the correct, uh, the correct way, and uh, he got his, his just rewards. As with before, though, I had my chance to get back in the game. I've just got to make sure I take the next chance. This guy's got a lot of pace in his team. That should be my ball there. Oof, look at that heavy touch from Boateng. That was, that was frightening, that was, that's for sure. Bakayoko into Raja. Raja into Jesus. Jesus... And uh, Anthony Martial making some plays there. Here's Willian getting the ball in. Willian goes through on goal. This has got to be the goal for us. Willian! There we go. 2-1. And now I've got some confidence. Now we're, we're firing on all cylinders up front. We missed the penalty. Too bad. But we got straight back into the game anyway at 2-1. With a nice Willian goal there. I've just got, again, no rush really to score the next goal. We've got the whole game ahead of us. Don't need to rush to play. All I need to make sure that I don't do is concede the next goal. That's that's prior, priority number one is just keeping the, the ball out of the back of my net for the next, I'd say till at least half time, you know. Give myself every opportunity to try and get myself into, uh, into a good spot. That's dirt ref, that is. That's absolutely outrageous. I actually would prefer not to get fouled there. He didn't even get a booking for that either. Um, let's pop this one just into Valencia here. We've got Willian on the outside into Rajan Angolan. Ooh, that's not, I don't want to say good defending because he was just kind of like right place at the right time. But uh, hey, he was in the right place at the right time. And here we go with his... That's a great challenge. Uh, well, I even won the ball there. I was surprised I won the ball. I thought I was... Uh, when I said that's a great challenge, that was me saying like that's a great foul challenge, not necessarily a great challenge. And there's Gabriel Jesus. He's missed the sitter. He's Mr. City. You expect those ones to fly into the back of the net, but no, that one has flown wide of the net. I could have taken the touch. I could have even squared that as well. I should have team swept that one into the bottom corner, but no doing... Oh, come on, Bakayoko. I've read that perfectly for you there, and you're miles away from it, and he's got a good chance to score from this, but Kante is in position, and here we go again with the boys. Jesus, Willian's clean through there, down this right-hand side. Can we get into the space? Oh, he's using the wrong defender. He's used the wrong defender. Willian makes it 2-2. I don't know why he didn't select Rafa Varane there and chase me down. He ended up sticking with the guy he was running back with, and he just ran into the middle of the box, leaving me all the space in the world. And we've gone from going 2-0 down and missing a penalty to pulling it back to 2-2. Look at his player in the box. Look at it. He's running with, I think, Mtiti there. And he just runs away. Just tries to cover the sweat pass. 
And we get a nice easy finish from Willian there. So I'm starting to understand a little bit more now why Willian is used in this game as much as he is. Especially because he's got special cards in this game too. What has he got? A uh, 87 rated card for his max card. So Willian obviously has some uh, some good, good cards. Oh, this, this could be trouble. Let's not let him get that cross. Oh, I could have that. What can you do, eh, guys? I've, I've conceded. Is that from three crosses that I've conceded? No, the first one was a Lukaku long shot. He's, he's, I think this guy's like genuinely had three attempts and scored three goals. This guy has uh, made the absolute most of every time he's been in my box or near my box. And Romelu Lukaku proving to be very, very effective. Picking up a hat-trick for this guy. Uh, so, so be it. We'll do our best. We've already scored two goals now. And uh, it's not going to be the most difficult... Oh, God, that's just not wearing that pass at all. It's not going to be, hopefully, the most difficult thing to keep creating these chances. Again, you know, what I wanted to do was try and keep the ball out of the back of the net but that's proven impossible against this guy mostly because of my uh, my back line you know obviously oh he actually oh nice jesus um obviously this guy uh has a, has a good uh, a good d with uh go on push in foul ref no pen no pen he's just tripped me up in the box no pen that's crazy um doesn't matter anyway i probably would have missed it um, yeah, you know, my defence, not ideal, not the best. Oh, go on, Martial. Go on, Martial, lads. That's a good block, that is. We'll take a corner, though. Let's get that near post corner into Boateng, see if we can get ahead on it. Ah, oh, it's too high. Goalkeeper's going to get that easy. It's going to fall to Danny Rose, though. Danny Rose has got Martial inside. That's a bad, bad, bad choice from me. That's a great tackle. No, ref, that's no foul. What's this guy chip through balling that for? Oh, look at the space he's got. He's just got so much space for a Dean here. It's got easy ball into Griezmann. I don't. I mean, I, I shouldn't have left him with this much space because, yeah, that cross is coming in again. He's missed that one, thank God. We've got ourselves a block on. This guy is causing me some problems with this Romelu Lukaku. Maybe it's time to start considering getting him back into my team as well. I've used him a couple of times throughout the year and never really, uh, never really stuck with him. Now, this guy's Varane has got almost no stam left. Or, you know, look, he's sprinting. He's, he's got no chance here. We've got some, uh, some nice space at the back post. Let's get it up there. Willian can't do anything with it. Rajan Angelin can't get close to the rebound either. That's too bad. Let's see if we can get ourselves... Let's try and get this ball. I, don't... I, I kind of want to change to a 4-1-2-1-2. I feel like it'll be just a much better formation for me. I don't feel like this guy is a super player. He, he's definitely done okay in attack for sure. In terms of defence, look at that. Look, He won't let me select the defender. In terms of defence, um, this guy's shaky at best. But I'm proving to be shaky myself here as well. He's got another corner coming in. I mean, if Lukaku gets ahead here, I'm screwed. Fortunately, Boateng manages to get a nice big block on. And now we've got ourselves a, a counter-attack. I mean, hello, ref. Are we getting... No, no cards for this, guys. This guy at all. That's, that's the third horrific tackle he's made. One in the box, one just outside the box, and now one there. And the referee is giving nothing for it. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice little, uh, nice little goal on the stroke of half-time. Gabriel Jesus... He's missed another sitter. Well, guys, I feel like I should be definitely in this game. This guy's had seven shots, four on target, three goals. I've had eight shots, four on target, just the two goals. Three tackles to me, a bit more possession for him. Um, I'm going to switch formations up. We're going to switch into the 4 one 2 one 2 And we're going to see if we can't get ourselves, um, you know, really into this game. So uh, we'll pop back Ayoko down into CDM. I'll pop Willian into... Uh, no, let's pop Martial into Cam. Willian and Jesus up front. Willian's done well for us so far. So, need to get that equalising goal. Uh, the sooner the better as well. As long as we can... Uh, again, I feel like I'm saying it all the time. But making sure we don't concede that first uh, or the next goal. is pretty important for us right now. Here we go with Martial. Surely from here... No, nah, maybe not actually. Ter Stegen should be saving those. Oh, it's dangerous. If he wants to try and play this game... I'll try and chase him down. He's actually he's trying to pass it around his back line. Can you imagine? Three two up, and it's the the half time kickoff, and you're trying to pass it around your back line. I will remember that. Although this guy's probably going to beat me, especially with my defenders auto lunging like absolute tramps. Uh, I will remember that passing around the back line. Forty fifth minute, trying his best to uh, burn that clock down as is needed. We've got Gabriel Jesus through here. I need you. I need you this time, Jesus. This has to be third times a charm. Oh, he did well to pull his keeper out there and chase me into the corner. I shouldn't be taking the corner to... Yeah, I, I knew that was a mistake. I should have taken that one short. I don't know why I did that. 
Let's get ourselves uh, just some comfortable possession here. We've got a good ball on the outside there. Willian. Nice play here. Willian. Surely Willian. Oh, it just can't get the purchase on the shot properly here. That's the problem. We're unable to really get that shot that we want off. That's my ball. I'll take that. Nice play. I still got it. We still got it. And Anthony Martial, there's the goal. 3-3. I feel like I deserve that. I've had a couple of low drivens that Ter Stegen's got his gloves to because I haven't been able to get the right power on it or the right angle on it. But we've got ourselves back into this game. It's 3-3 now. Now's, now's where it really counts, you know. I got it back to 2-2 after being 2-0 down. And, of course, this guy just went straight up the other end and managed to score pretty quickly. Um, this is... This is this is not what I need right here. EA, there we go. Good tackle, good tackle. I needed a good tackle there as well. Otherwise, I was in some trouble. Let's get let's just get some good passing now. I feel like I've got this guy. I feel like this guy has lost the plot a little bit. He has indeed. Willian gets around the space. He's got Valencia out of the right-hand side. Back into Willian. Beautiful from Willian. Willian. Oh, what a tackle. If I could have just got the shot off, I have a feeling that would have been three. Sorry, 4-3 to me. But no, he managed to just get the tackle in as I'm like pulling my leg back there for the shot. He gets the tackle in. Have I read this? Don't let him get that ball in. Nice, Nangolan. There we go. I haven't got subs either. Silly in this team. I didn't bring any subs. Oh, Gabriel Jesus, clean through. You owe me a goal, Jesus. You owe me a goal. I mean, he's the one with the chem style. He's the one getting into all the space. And he's the one missing all the shots. Here we go with Jesus again, into Martial, into Kante, into Rose. Good block. Really putting the prep. What? How on earth is that his throw-in? I took a shot, it deflected off of his player, and then he gets the throw-in? Ah, oh, well, it's actually worked out for me because I've got... That ball's not for there, is it? Yeah, go on, win that, win that. You can get this ball back off him. This guy's playing a dangerous, dangerous game here. I don't know why he's passing like this. He's trying to... So he's just passing around his back line unnecessarily, giving himself like some... Look at that. I mean, again, just talking about un unnecessarily. He's just... Absolutely everything here is unnecessary. Oh, he's so lucky there. He's tried to... I don't know if he's tried to foul me per se, but he could have brought me down quite comfortably there. But uh, whoever that was stayed up on their feet instead of going down. And now he's actually got a really good counter-attack here. Yeah, I read that with these. It was so... Of oh... Look at that. Deflects perfectly into his uh, player there. There's another good read. There we go. We've got away now. Now we should be able to get away as well. Right, we've got a good counter on here. We've got a couple of good players up in the uh, up in the area. Good space found. Good balls out. I've aimed that straight back into Bakayoko's feet. And it's gone nowhere near him. This game's getting tense now. I'm making some very, very silly mistakes. As is my opponent. So quite happy with that. Got a good through ball on here. And then all the way through. Oh, again, just unable to get that final ball. That final ball is the one that's causing me the problems now. 15 minutes to go, guys. This guy's got a good attack on here. Great read from Eric Bailly there. Let's just pass this around him. Look at him. He's pressing me so hard. So hard with the press. Let's get that one, two of dreams on. Willian. Surely Willian. Go down. Go down. If he just goes down, I get a pen there. Negolan intercepts, Bakayoko into Willian, into Gate Jesus, sorry, Martial, Gabriel Jesus, surely! It's been coming, boys, and we get it. Finally, Gabriel Jesus, who's missed three absolute sitters this game, gets a second bite of the cherry there in the box, and we score the goal that puts us 4 3 up after being 2 0 down and missing that penalty. After then equalising and going 3-2 down. After our opponent spending the first five minutes of this second half. Passing it around his back line trying to kill the clock. We now find ourselves in the lead. And man is he going to suffer for that. Nine in-game minutes left. Let's make sure we just... I just don't even want to give him the ball again. I don't even want to score. I mean scoring would be great. Getting another goal would be absolutely ideal. But mostly I just don't want to give him another touch of the ball. I'd be more than happy to just sit here and, and play this game out. But Willian, again, that fight, that, it's that last little touch. He keeps getting those absolute perfectly timed tackles just in. Come on, press him. Don't let him get that through ball back down the line. There we go. Red perfectly. Kante, five in-game minutes left. Nain Golan, Willian. Willian, Martial. Back in. Willian, Martial again. 
It's a good tackle. I should have just stayed with Martial there because he was waiting for that through ball. Danny Rose steps up and intercepts. Is he offside? He is offside. <sighs> Three minutes to go, guys. Three minutes to go. Let's hope we can... Uh, oh, you jammy mofo. Let's hope that we can hold on. I don't want to take this to extra time because otherwise this video will be ridiculously long. Uh, he's got a good through ball option on there. It's just... Oh. Don't let him shoot. Great tackle. Bakayoko clears it. One and a half minutes remain. Nangola's going to intercept that perfectly. Falls back to Kante. This guy's had a lot of lucky bounces go his way tonight. Griezmann shoots. Courtois saves. And we've now got time to hold it. And remember when he was passing around his back line? Oh, well, now it's uh, Karma's going to come back to get you. Because he is not going to touch the ball for the rest of this game. We're just going to stand here if we need to. Oh, I tricked him. Yeah, you thought I was going back, buddy. No chance. And we get the win. That was the, the semi-final of the Daily Knockout Tournament, guys. And uh, I'm glad I won that game. That could have been a very, very embarrassing defeat. His first goal with Lukaku was good. A banger there. Courtois unable to save it. His second goal was a bit weird. I thought I should have won the header. I don't know why he crossed it from where he crossed it. Gabriel Jesus with a goal. Martial with a goal. Willian with two. Jesus with two assists. Willian and Martial with an assist each. So the front three again. In on the action very, very well. Hug Google 98 or Hugo, Hugo, Hugo Ogle 98. I don't know what his name is. Um, he just got beaten. I had way more opportunities. Look at where I'm getting them from as well. And a lot of those shots, he just got blocks in at the last ditch attempt. Or the you know, a few of them were bad angle shots, low drivens that Testega made easy saves for. But very, very delighted, guys, to come through that game into the final now of the daily knockout tournament that will be played on another time that guys was the most used team in fifa let's go and have a look at this team one more time the most used team in fifa on the screen for you guys right there thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace